Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video. Today we have a very interesting video. We're gonna be reacting to how to make spotted dick. It's a recipe and uh, we're all gonna be very mature viewers when watching this and we're gonna hold it together and learn how this beautiful um, masterpiece of a uh, food is made. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, check out my Patreon link in the description, and let's go. Let's just go. This is nostalgic British. Oh, whoa, 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 let me turn it up a bit. So I've seen spotted dick in cans in grocery stores before, and that's the only way I've heard of it. This is nostalgic British family dessert, and we know you're probably sniggering already. But we're grown-ups, so we're not gonna make any jokes. This is our spotted D. In all seriousness though, this is an amazing dessert. It's really simple to make, but then it takes quite a long time to cook okay. and kind of steam it. So to begin with, the dough, we've got flour, suet, um, sultanas, the main flavour of that. Later on, we'll serve with the custard. Oh. Oh, oh, great, we'll come back to that. But first up, flour and suet. Tell the people suet. what suet is. People are always scared of this, but actually yeah. it's an amazing ingredient. It's, it's sort of beef fat, and it does taste incredible. So, flour and suet into a bowl, and then just as if you were making pastry or crumble, kind of rub it together to get rid of the big lumps. And then the other dry ingredients. So we've got brown sugar, not a huge amount for mm -hmm. dessert. It's not that sweet, but most of the sweetness comes from sultanas. The spotted bit. The spotted bit. And you're right, everyone laughs at the name. So where's the spotted dick thing come from? Oldie worldy English. Oldie worldy. Okay, because a couple of hundred years ago, yeah. the word pudding used to be spotted pudding. But pudding Fair in oldie worldy English kind of became pudding, yeah. which they shortened to dink. And then yeah. it just kind of got shortened to dick. Okay. So it's spotted dick. <laughs> So essentially the dip just means pudding. Once you've got all those mixed in, then go in with the dry ingredients, so the sugar. Yo, I need everyone, comment down below, do you like spotted dick? <laughs> no, like, the food. All right, bro, just, someone's gonna clip that. Just, do you like it? All right, just. Uh. All of the spotted part, the fruit, the dried fruit, sometimes sultanas and raisins. This recipe, we've gone to just sultanas. I think I have, I think I am the one with the dirty mind. I don't think anyone was gonna take that question wrong. Anyways, dried fruit. Sometimes sultanas and raisins. This recipe, we've gone to just sultanas, and then the other easy. really cheap, easy ingredient, milk. So that just goes in. And there we go. It's quite a stiff dough. If it was too runny, Gosh. sultanas would sink, and then yeah. cook, and you'd end up with just spotty bits at the bottom. So this is kind of all suspended in it. You don't want a spotty bottom. You don't want a spotty bottom. You want a spotty dick. So <laughs> next up, take yourself a pudding <laughs> basin, and to avoid <laughs> it sticking, just a little bit of butter. <laughs> On the inside. Okay. Now Ben asked me to uh, to Google spotted dick, so I did. I know he needs some help with it. Um, and this is what I found. You ready for this? <clears throat> a few of them are due to serious conditions, but please bear in mind that most spots you might find on your penis are likely to be completely harmless. But if it gets serious, you can always be examined by a doctor and they can issue some cream. I can. <laughs> we're not going with cream. We're going with custard. Oh, but just what don't I can go on. You is this has nothing to do with that. This is amazing. <laughs> you shouldn't be scared of it. Right. Too far. We've gone too so there far. we go. You'll see it doesn't feel right the way to the top because as it steams, it bakes, it rises. But by putting that butter around the outside, we can get the dick out afterwards. And then all we need <laughs> is basically greaseproof paper. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. We'll just go with it. Go with it. Next up, greaseproof paper on top, and yeah. that'll just stop it from sticking. This bit, I guess, people are going to be scared of because steaming a pudding isn't a very common thing to do. I think only because it takes a long time. Yeah. But actually, it's so easy because you saw how quickly we made the dough. Yeah. We then put a bit of grease proof over it, a bit of tin foil. Seal it tight. To seal it so the water doesn't get in. Mm -hmm. And then that sits inside mm -hmm. of a saucepan. And all you need to do is have something on the bottom just to keep it off the ground. Okay. And then a little bit of water and that's going to steam. So it's not, it's not bathed in water, it's just enough to steam. And the last tip, and this depends on the size of your pan, if that was to go in there now, then you, it's fine because it's cold. But later, trying to get that out of there, You're gonna burn when yourself. it's hot, oh, yeah. it's going to be difficult. Grab yourself a sheet of baking paper, just kind of form a strip, and that sits on top of there. So you can lower it in the whole nice thing and get it out again. Lid on. Smart. Bring it up to a boil, and with the lid on, you're going to trap all that steam in, and it's going to cook. Keep topping up with water every half an hour or so, so yep. it doesn't boil dry. But it needs to steam and bubble away for about an hour and a half. There's only one thing we all love more than spotted dick here in the UK: it's custard and the two go hand in hand. So, our pudding has been steaming away for sort of an hour and a half or so, it's pretty much there. Mm -hmm. Now we can make ourselves a custard. So, two things. Yep. We're gonna infuse our cream with Earl Grey. 
because we also love our tea. Earl Grey. Oh, yeah, enough of it. A fantastic British tea bag, the Earl Grey, going into a pan with all of our cream, heat up, and that will just infuse the amazing flavours of Earl Grey into our custard. Literally, a couple of minutes as the cream heats up will be enough to give this all the flavour it needs. Meanwhile, six egg yolks and six teaspoons of caster sugar. So they can go in there and be whisked up. So you can just buy normal custard, and could you infuse it as well afterwards? You can buy ready-made custard. They're actually really handy just to keep a little carton or tin of. Um, yeah. I suppose you could, if you do really strong and intense, oh great, a little bit of water maybe, yeah. and leave it to really stew and brew, and then just stir that through the custard. It would be similar, but better off if you can make it yourself. We're using the same method here to make custard we have done several times before. Hot cream, as you whisk, over the egg yolks and sugar. That will start to thicken it, but not scramble it. And at this point, back into the pan to heat it all the way through until it thickens up. Look at the colour now. It's the sort of sustaining yeah. from the tea, all of the flavour. It's amazing. Nice. Keep it stirring as it heats, because you don't want it to scramble on the bottom, mm -hmm. so kind of keep it moving. And Ooh. as soon as it's thick enough to be custard, and by that, it's kind of got a spoony consistency where it holds its form to the back of a spoon. Is there a spoony consistency? Spooning. So basically what it means is on the back of a spoon, it holds its life. You just made that term up. No, it's that bit's right. You made the spooning get up. The spooning consistency. And at this point, grab yourself a fine sieve mm -hmm. and a bowl, and you just want to basically transfer it. That will catch the tea bag, obviously, and but also lumps. any bits that have scrambled too far. If you've been keeping it stirring, there shouldn't be any, but it's a nice little safety net just in case. A thick, beautiful consistency. Right, now for our pudding. And at this point, we can lift it out, and that's why we put that extra bit of grease through paper now, in there. Oh, like here we go, here we go. Because, and this is the thing people forget, steam is hot. It sounds stupid, but don't go in there with your fingers, because the steam will burn. I have done that before. And then take off the tin foil. Underneath that, you've got the grease proof. And that, oh, now that looks good. is a risen, beautiful suet sponge. Flip it over onto a plate. And it'll just fall out. In, in theory, remember it's hot. There we go, big reveal. Oh, it works! That Ooh. is gorgeous. That is a massive dig. Gorgeous spot. <laughs> you just heard what he said. Come on, man. All right, I, I'll let most stuff fly, but really? Reveal. Oh, it works! That. Ready, ready? Is a gorgeous. That is a massive dig. Gorgeous spotted <laughs> dick. Thick and creamy custard infused with the Earl Grey and a beautiful steaming <laughs> spotted dick. Sorted. I will say, no jokes. All the jokes aside, this looks delicious. I'm not the biggest fan of the now, raisins, though. A but very the custard. Dish, but I've never had it before. You've Ooh. never had suet sponge. Nice I need to try yeah, this. Had it. Fruit. Try it. Tell me what you think. I like how we're sharing um, the uh, loads of fruit stuff. Oh, that is incredible. I kind of expected just a sponge. No, but that's so much more than just a sponge. It's it's up there with crumbles and treacle mm. sponges and jam roly polies and real comfort food. That's why it's famous. I get it now. That's amazing. And it's super traditional, but what we want to know is what is a traditional dessert in your country? All right. That was how to make spotted dick. Comment down below. I know a lot of, we got a lot of cooks on the channel, so let me know if you make spotted dick differently or if you have your own special recipe, maybe drop it in the comments. Maybe this will be a video for me. Maybe I will make spotted dick. I don't know. Are there any ingredients that can't, I didn't see any ingredients that I probably couldn't find in the United States. I think it's possible, let me know. Didn't look too difficult. We've made what, beans on toast, we've made tea, <laughs> and we've tried chocolate, so we have quite the, uh, what is that noise? I don't even know. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate all the support. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Drop any recommendations uh, for stuff you want to check me to check out in the future in the comments. And I will catch you all in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed the spotted dick.